Let's now create a sync lead sound. As usual, we will start from the user default preset. In ES2, oscillator 2 can be synced to oscillator 1. So let's set the mix all the way to oscillator 2. So we only hear that. And select the sync mode. There's a square sync as well as a saw sync. So now changing the pitch of oscillator 1 will affect oscillator 2. Since we're going for a lead sound, let's switch to monophonic mode. I'll also increase some glide time. Now the classic sync sound is achieved when the pitch of the synced oscillator is modulated. Cool. So let's modulate this oscillator's pitch with an envelope. We can use envelope 1. No need for via. Push the amount all the way up and change the decay time on envelope 1. And there's the classic sync sound. Let's filter the sound a bit. Turn on fat. Some drive. Some resonance. Now if you don't want the sync sound on every key press, switching to legato will make sure the envelope does not repeat on every note, except when all notes are released and a new note is triggered. Let's make this wider with unison at two voices. Some analog detune. Watch your levels. We could blend in the master oscillator in the mix as well. Maybe set the mix a bit more towards the slave synced oscillator. Let's also set up some filter modulation. We can use the same envelope. Push up the amount. Makes it a bit brighter. How about some chorusing? Or maybe switch that to a flanger. That's pretty nice. Now oscillator 3 can also be synced. And it also has both square and saw sync modes. Let's set the mix to only oscillator 3 so we can hear what it sounds like. Now oscillator 3 is also slave to oscillator 1. So if oscillator 1's pitch is modulated, we hear its effect on oscillator 3. So to get the sync sound going, we need to modulate the pitch of oscillator 3. Let's use the same envelope 1 for this. Amount at max. To get slightly different results, we can set oscillator 3's pitch an octave above. Let's hear all the oscillators together. Maybe oscillator 2 an octave below. That fills up the sound a bit more. Changing the decay time on envelope 1 will change the modulation speed. 
This slower sync modulation sounds pretty cool as well. Of course, the sync modulation time is up to you. Cool. So that's how to create a lead sync sound in ES2. Let's save this. And we're done.